Work, get it straight. Okay. Work, get it straight. Work, get it straight. Yeah. I'm back again, round two. I'm catching clay, you dog food. Bamming down your block, I'm too hot. For you lame food, putting up that flame too. What I smoke is sour juice, going for the diesel. All right, so let's talk a second. I'm over here in the hideout, you know, where all the well the magic go down, you know. So today I got something special for you. Not so much as the welding at the moment. You have to be patient for that because you know there is an edited process. So right now I'm just kind of getting things together and kind of um, moving things around so I can have multiple, if you will, stations set up for you guys to be able to uh, get the full effect of what I'm trying to show you. Um, but pretty much I'm here today right now to talk to you about your drive, okay, your drive towards uh, being successful in your endeavors and uh, again, being successful in welding. Um, let me tell you a little story. When I first started welding, um, what motivated me to become a welder, first off, it was the fact that I couldn't believe you could make that amount of money in a week, you know, for those of you who don't know and don't know me, um, my oldest brother, my oldest brother, um, he actually got into welding before me. Sometimes I say I don't think that would have happened if I would have actually uh, followed my goals as was planned. But um, early on, early on <laughs> in my uh, journey towards what I wanted to become after high school, I actually went to school to become a, uh, an auto body technician. I love painting cars and restoring cars. So I went to school and I uh, graduated from the auto body technology program. It was a 13 month program. At the end you walk across, uh, walk across the stage and um, get your diploma. But uh, prior to that, I did want to weld. But what turned me away from wanting to weld was the fact that it was summertime when I first come up with the notion and uh, I walked into that uh, that welding uh, shop and kind of kind of toured the class. It was so hot in there. I said, "What are y'all doing?" I said, "Never mind. I don't want to weld." And that was that was that was back in the day. That was almost 20 years ago. And um, I, again, I pursued what I pursued. But some years later, maybe two or three years later. I started talking to my brother and, uh, you know, letting money make some more money. The way I was making money wasn't working out anymore. I done got busted. Okay. And uh, the feds was involved. Yeah. That's not funny, even though I'm smiling. And they took all my tools, all my equipment. I had like forty to fifty thousand dollars worth of auto body equipment. Mind you, now I had already started. To sh I had already started a. Uh, an auto body shop at a young age. I always had an entrepreneurial uh, mind frame. And uh, when I got busted, uh, they took all my equipment. Long story short, I was indicted, went to court, bailed out, and I knew I had to change my life. And uh, speaking to my brother, he changed my mind. And he let me know, look, you wanna make some money? Similar to what you making out there in the streets, Check this out. Look at this check stuff. I looked at the check stuff. I said, damn, you make a lot of money in a month. He said, what? <laughs> he said, no, 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 no. Look at that date. I said, damn, why is it saying a week, a uh, seven-day period? Yeah, that's what we make a week. I said, what? You freaking kidding me? There's no way you're going to make that amount of money in a week. It's just no way. You're not a doctor. You're not a lawyer. I mean... How is it possible? He ran it down to me and said, look, they've been making money like that for years, bro. You know what I'm saying? People have been making money like that for years. That's, that's, a, that's, that's, that's nothing, bro. People, this has been happening for years. But because you took that path and you pretty much became a product of your environment, you didn't necessarily consider that or even know that you could... Um, um, make that type of money. But now that I'm in it, this is what you can make and you need to 
you need to you need to take this up if you want to uh, you know make some real money and make some change out there whether it's within your family or within the world because you're going to have the wherewithal the money in other words and the ability to be able to uh, uh, do those things you want to do and like to do and from that point I became the well now this is very important what I'm telling you I became the well I enrolled in in uh, the welding program at my local college in, in the city I grew up in and uh, I signed up for night shift because that was the only shift that was uh, right for me because I start I got married really early I got married really early uh, actually I got married at uh, right at 21 uh, 20 right at 20 and my first child was born uh, right at 20 around I was getting ready to turn 20 uh, 21 and um, in the daytime, I had I had uh, other obligations to take care of, but uh, yeah, it, you know, night shift, I welded. Okay, the class was roughly around about four to five hours per night. Okay, and uh, it was it was mainly hands on. We spent maybe twenty to thirty minutes in the classroom talking about uh, the uh, the science of welding. Catching up on the history of welding and learning different miscellaneous things about welding, but um, majority of the class was done in the shop, and I sat there. Every bead I laid down, you hear me? Every bead I laid down, I thought about a dollar, and I'm not kidding you. I thought about a dollar. I felt like I need this money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I need this money and this is serious you can make this type of money I said I need this money so you mean to tell me the only thing that's separating me from the money is my ability to be able to do this I said get out of here I can do anything I, I can do anything if you can do it I can do it and that was just the just the bottom line I sat there in that booth welding all night four hours straight just just trying to get it right started off with that 60 10 70 18 and uh just trying to get it right you know and the thing about it is when you when you weld and you really don't have a lot of a lot of people that can give you advice when you need it it's like um you figuring it out and a lot of times you're gonna realize in your uh in your respective uh uh Institutions that you decide to go to, whether it's community college or an actual uh, welding institution like Tulsa, so on and for, so on and uh, um, uh, so on and abroad, rather. Hey, I wanted to name another one. I think it's one in Oklahoma, but uh, I got caught in two thoughts. <laughs> but yeah, point I'm trying to get you to see is this here. I thought of a dollar every time I laid down a bead, right? And I knew if you can do it, I can do it as well. And every bead I laid down, I saw dollar signs. I'm running that bead, I saw dollar signs. And the point I wanted to make was sometimes you have in your, your trade schools, your instructor is not as sharp as you think he should be or he's not as sharp as he make himself seem to be you're going to quickly realize that but the thing about it is you got to stick with it you got to become the weld okay let me look at the camera you got to become the weld and what do you mean by become the weld okay in every situation that you deal with no matter what it is you're going to have a period of dip okay so let's start you're gonna start, right? You're gonna figure out, oh, I, I'm a natural talent. You're gonna keep moving forward. I'm a natural talent. I can really do this. Okay, why? Wow, I didn't know I was this good with my hands. Okay, okay. And then at some point in time in your journey, you're gonna go and hit a dip. Hmm. And it's gonna be like, man, I'm just stuck here at this point. Why can't I figure out how this works? I'm having trouble. It's not working out. Can I really be a pipe welder? 
can this really work out for me? Am I going to be able to make this money that I know you can make that everybody talks about? Why am I not getting it? That's the dip. You got to keep practicing. You got to keep fighting. You got to keep rolling through that time. Because what's going to happen is this here. When you keep going through the hard time and it's just not working out, show up every day. Show up every day. Bend your mind around the process that you're doing. Figure it out. Ask questions. Keep trying. Keep trying to improve. Talk to yourself. Self-talk is very important. Okay? And then one day, one day is just going to go and you're going to get it. And it's going to be the happiest day of your life. You're going to say, wow, all my problems are gone. I got it. I know how to do it. How was I not getting this? But uh, on a minute level, what's going on is this here. Okay, listen to me very carefully. Okay, the mind, right? Inside the brain. Okay, whenever you start any new task, what you have to realize and what you have to consider is that your, your brain is trying to connect new neurons, okay? Just think about it like this. You got neurons just sitting here, dormant. You never use this part of your mind. You never use this part of your brain. So now that you're trying to work things out and understand how, to, how this process works, it's going to be like they're going to be trying to make connections. You know what to do, but your muscles is not working and not doing it the correct way. You keep messing up and stumbling, but you know what to do in your mind. So you got to keep trying. You got to build up that muscle memory right? while those uh, neurons are trying to connect and build uh, themselves up to be hardcore solid, okay? solid parts of your your, 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 your your muscle memory in your mind. So as you keep working, it's not working out, but it's getting closer. They're getting closer to connect. It's not working out. A week passed by. It's not working out. You don't see the inner workings that's going on inside your mind. It's getting closer. They're going to connect. It's not working out. It's not working out. Two weeks pass by. It's getting closer. It's not working out. It's not working out. Three weeks pass by. It's getting closer. Connect, and then you just got it. It's like, wow, I know how to do this. Wow. It took me four weeks. It took me five weeks. It took me six weeks. It took me three months. But I got it because I never gave up. And you made those new connections in your brain, and they're hardwired now. They're not apart. They're hardwired. So now it becomes a uh, an actual um, task that your mind knows how to do, okay? And, and and again, understand what I'm saying. I'm giving it to you in a nutshell. Of course, this is talking about the scientific part about it, of, of, of how it works, but uh, this is exactly how it works. And uh, you're going to see it as you follow these instructions. And just take my advice and hear what I'm trying to tell you because this is the process that I went through and I read plenty of books on how this works. And it works like that. So my advice to you is stick with it don't give up because there is light at the end of the tunnel. Just keep trying. Make it through that dip, okay? Make it through that dip when it when it seems like it's just too hard and you're just not getting it and maybe it's not for you. Get rid of that negative self-talk, okay? Get rid of it. Stick to the script. Keep your goals right here up front. Know what you want and keep trying because one day, just like that, all your struggle is going to be over with. You're going to know how to run a perfect bead. You're going to know how to run a route, pass. You're going to know how to pass a test. And then you're going to hit me up in the inbox and say, damn, man, I've been following you, bro. So many years, and I took your advice, and it worked, and I'll see you in the field, right? That's just how I go. Each one, teach one, all right? You're good at what you do.